make a decision, I can read. How many people here would like me to read a poem that would be translated into Lithuanian? And how many people think, go ahead, just read an English poem, it's okay. Why are you doing that? Okay, I'll come in. I'll just read an English poem then. Or American, depending on <laughs> what religion. I would prefer to read it in Mandarin, or Cantonese, or even Uyghur. Uyghur is a people out of Kazakhstan who, who they're fighting with the Han out there. You must know these poets. That's your country. How y'all doing tonight? Great, man. <laughs> that was beautiful, Jake. Thank you. It's great to be here in the Republic of Ujubis. Um, where freedom is the language, and uh, the language is the ability to pick your nose. You know, it's a perfect spot for a pure poem. I'm going to read a historical poem tonight, okay? This is a poem from so long ago that some of you may not even have been born at this point. It was a very important year in the history of history. And in fact, it was so important that the students at the International School were not even informed at the 20th anniversary that freedom had come to the nation of Lithuania. Read the poem! I did mean, the poem. It sounds like it's an introduction, but in fact it's really the poem. <laughs> okay, I want to take you back to a time in the past, guys. It's called Raj. What's going on here? I <laughs> go to the bathroom. Okay, we let Raj go to the bathroom, and then I'll start the poem. It takes place in a historical era, back before... Good move, move Raj. This is the pro most appropriate possible time. I hope that will take a pee. But it pisses you off, right? It pisses me off. Okay. It's called... 1990. Wow. The taking of flash photos and the use of recording devices of any kind, including pens, pencils, eyes, and ears, is strictly encouraged. <laughs> it's 1990, and Nelson Mandela is free! And people are looking at each other, and they're going like, what? And the other people are looking back, and they're going like, duh? And uh, finally, after this deep interaction, you hear the wild cry of, excuse me! Could you tell me the time? What time is it? It's wake and shake time. It's death of the decade time. It's turn of the century time. It's gyrate the millennium time. At the sound of the tone, it will be the end of time. It's 1 p.m. <laughs> it's post-future. It's 1 p.t. It's post time. It's post time. It's 1990. And Nelson Mandela is free. History's on fast forward. Make that double fast fast forward. That's where we run past the future so fast, you're back in the past. Sure, it's the end of history. So how come all we can think is, what comes next? 
One minute you're rolling in ecstasy because the Berlin Wall is tumbling down, and the next you think, a reunited Germany? Oh God, no. Here come the stormtroopers, and I'm Jewish. Well, my father was Jewish, so I'm not Jewish enough for the Jews, but I'm Jewish enough for the Nazis. <laughs> One minute it's survival tactics to the next. It's, where's the angle? It's 1990, and Nelson Mandela is free, and everybody wants a little gloss. No, stall, yeah, we know we want it because we see Frank Zappa smoking cigarettes with Václav Havel, who six months ago was in jail, an artist whose work was banned by the government. Now he's the president of Czechoslovakia! So stop in for free baby burritos in the corner bar, except suddenly it's a karaoke bar with uh, specializing in piranha sushi. And everybody here is a star because you get to stand up in front of the massive TV screen showing an MTV minus one video clip and sing along with the bouncing ball, except the words are all in Japanese. And how can you sing feelings with feeling in Japanese? Kanjiru, watachi wa kanjiru. It's 1990, and Nelson Mandela is free. Communism has collapsed. At last, the Russians get to wear the happy face masks and make, uh, get to stand in line for a big mech. The Azerbaijanis are finally free, so they get to beat up on the Armenians. Yugoslavia has decided to go back to indigenous cave tribe groupings. In Italy, the communists have met, and they've decided that they're not communists. They're going to change their name to be more appealing to the socialists, and the Greens. But the, for the time the Frisians are going to sleep and <laughs> But for the time being, the Italians con leftists are calling themselves simply the thing. What is that in Italian? The thing. Thing. La cosa. La cosa. La cosa. The thing. Personally, I'm gonna vote for the thing for the time being. For the time being, well, there's nothing left except for the time being. There's nothing left anymore except for the time being. You live your whole life for the time being, while meanwhile, there's no meanwhile. <laughs> it's 1990, and Nelson Mandela is free. Play ethics by ear. Let me out of here. Oh, which way is out? I'm a part of the food chain. Isn't that enough? Ah, at night I snuggle up close to the warm blue glow of images provided for everyone by a select few. Listen, they package the shopping mall so small you can only visit it with a video YouTube walk person, a cellular phone, and a gold Visa card. The world is changing, but we're not. We're stuck in a commercial for life, trying to figure out who to give the money to. When, surprise, there's no money! It's 1990, and Nelson Mandela is free. Senor Yapi, phone call for Senor Yapi. Pardon me, I have to step over these homeless people to close on my home equity loan. Our bodies are still tender and not full grown, and the prospect of dying frightens us all. But history calls us, and we must go. But where do they go? The Chinese students on their bicycles riding towards the tanks at Tiananmen Square. It can't happen here because it's already happened here. AIDS epidemic grabs life so that we don't even see it. Gone like holes in heart. Surrounded by ghosts meeting death in the middle of life. 
while lesbians and gay men still have to fight for the right to love? And be sure to send your poetry to the apartment of official bullshit to get labeled so it just has to be time to get a co-op. That's right. You buy the place you used to rent and you still get to pay the rent. <laughs> it's time to be a great parent. You gotta work those extra hours to pay for the best child care while you're away. My kid is majoring in Nikes. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't be happy. Explode! The decision of birth from her body is solely and privately that of the woman herself. It's 1990, and Nelson Mandela is free. And everything used to be something else. Now it's a thousand words a minute. And Times Square, oh, it's just so much more interesting. We're hell-bent on something sort of positive in a senile way. I can't even keep up with my life. It's a secret between me and my stunt double. Honey, I'm home. Nuke me! <laughs> Hop to it. Ban cigarettes before it's too late. It's Earth Day again, if you can find any Earth left. Paranoia used to be a psychosis. Now it's a national pastime. Have you tried the new fashion, the bare breast style of no clothes at all? And it's not cheap either. And poetry is the newspaper of the future, except it's locked out of the media. You know things. Think them. There's optimism at the Yacht Club. The salad bar is open. Excuse me, isn't it time to mow your head? The salad bar is open. I hate you! Thank you very much. Have a nice day. They don't even know what it is, but they've already got an option on it. They're buying into it. Let's not make a deal. It's 1990. And Nelson Mandela is free. And there's this guy up at the microphone, and he's yelling at me. And he's not using language that makes any sense from where I come from. It all rhymes, and it all starts with capital letters, and it's all intense italics, underlined three times in bold face headlines. And I can't remember anything about it except the part where he goes, It's 1990, and Nelson Mandela is free. And around the world, a sense of possibility as women slowly ease the old, gray, dinosaur poobahs from their penile thrones. The universal remote control is being passed into your hands. Zap it. Zap it. Zap it. Zap it. Zap it. It's 19... No, it's not. It's 2010. And the Republican... The Republic of Ujupis welcomes poets to speak for themselves and become the legislatures of the universe and even make their way of, off to Druskin and Cuckoo to find whatever it is that is truth, justice, and the Lithuanian way! Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.